Hey champions, Arian Tyson here. Feel free to like, comment, or share this uh, video. I want to talk to you. I want to challenge you today. And I want to discuss the importance of vision when it comes to leadership. In most cases, you can't call yourself a leader if you don't have vision. And I'm just keeping 100 with you. If you don't have a vision, there's no hope. There's no hope. If you don't have a vision, you have to have a vision, especially when you are in leadership. You have to have a vision when you are, quote unquote, leading and guiding other people. And so you often heard the phrase, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. And that's true. But I want to expand on that, and I want to quote Mr. John C. Maxwell. John C. Maxwell once said that it does take teamwork to make the dream work. But the dream, but, but the vision becomes a nightmare when the leader has a big dream and a bad team. I'm going to repeat that. Teamwork does make the dream work. But the vision becomes a nightmare when a leader has a big dream and a bad team. The point that I'm making to you is when you have a clear vision, the right people are drawn to you. They're drawn to you because in essence, they can see the vision. And one of the hallmarks of being a leader, an effective leader is someone, and it doesn't have to be a man, it can, it can definitely be a woman, man or woman. A leader is a man or woman who can effectively translate their vision into reality. That's my definition of, of, of a leader. That there's someone that could effectively translate their vision, um, their their vision into reality. And so we have to realize that without vision. There is no hope because the leader has to see it before anybody else does. They have to see it. They have to be willing to see it. If they can't see it, then how can you expect the people that you lead to see it? Because it's like you're leading, it's almost like you're leading, sleeps, leading sheep to the slaughter. And I'm not saying that those that you follow are sheep. It's not what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is that people don't join companies per se. They join people. They join people. They join people that they see have a vision. They join people that they see are going somewhere. They see they, they join people that that they know are going to stay the course during the ups and downs, during the triumphs and the challenges. They're going to stay the course. They're not going to tuck tail and run at the first sign of adversity. Because I've said this before, how you respond to adversity privately is going to determine how God blesses you openly. Leaders understand that. Leaders recognize that. And so, I think one of the most, one of the most hurtful things is for someone who is in a leadership position to just up and just leave those that have joined them. Expect, and, and definitely leave them high and dry and never give them a notice.
It is what it is. Some people watching this might, might not like it, but it is what it is. And you have to realize that where much is given, much is required. Same way in leadership. You're given a team. You've assembled a team for a reason. So there are responsibilities that you have to that team. So you have to have a vision. And if you don't have a vision, there is no hope. There is no hope of your dream becoming a reality and, and you being able to sustain it. You can't sustain it without having a vision. You cannot. And leaders understand that the dream is no longer enough. The memory, the execution of it, the memory must be made and the vision has to be executed. What's your vision? What is it? And rest assured, your vision is not all about you. Most of it is not, it's not about you. It's about those who you're looking to serve. It's about those that you will impact. And it's outside of your household. So I wanted to share that with you. If you got value from it, by all means, feel free to like Comment and share this video. In life, you have two choices. You can make moves or you can make excuses, but you most certainly cannot do both. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.